Hey everyone, Sandra Vale here at Homesteading Ways, and today Paul is with me so he can show you guys um, how we did our hot water on demand system. Hi, I'm Paul, and today we're going to show you guys how we did our hot water on demand system in our totally off grid cabin. So, this hot water uh, on demand system is a propane system. And yes, I understand people are going to have questions. They do say in the instructions that it's made for the outside. The reason they do that is because most buildings are super sealed and there's no way that air escapes or gets back in again or very little. With this cabin, it's insulated but it's not vapor buried. Um, it's not insulated like it would be completely for a house. Um, so there is, is air movement in here. So inside is fine. There's plenty of air for the combustible to uh, circulate through here and as a backup you just want to have if you're going to do this system you just want to have a, a carbon monoxide detector in there and with ours it never goes off so it's not, never an issue so basically how this works is this is our water storage tank that we collect rainwater outside and that is a different video and then through a transfer pump which we'll show you on a different video we transfer it into this tank this tank is a little bit big than what we want, but for now, for this video, it's sufficient. We are going to go with a smaller tank because we got some hidden area underneath the countertop over here that we can get a smaller tank and conceal it more and get more water storage here. This one is 180 gallons uh, when it's completely filled, and 180 gallons will last quite a long time. And um, so, how this system works is it is a flow jet, 2.9 gallons per minute. DC pump. So this DC pump, I just have a switch hooked to a switch where we can just turn it off if we're not here and it runs to our DC battery so it comes off our solar uh, panel outside. Um, when I'm gone, for if we're not here, we just shut that switch off. You don't have to worry about your water ever turning on. Turn on, it automatically keeps 50 pounds of pressure into the water line. I want to also mark that this system that we use, we treat this water, but it's not for drinking water. It's only for showers and washing dishes. It's treated. It's as clean or cleaner than any well water that you would get or any city water that you would get. Um, but we don't use it for drinking because this is our hot water source. This hot water on demand system has two DC batteries that ignites it and then it has a it's run by propane. Now, when we live up here full time, we'll have a big propane tank outside. For now, we just use this little propane canister. So, it's hooked to the propane, and then you have two dials here. You have water pressure dial, and then you have the minimum or maximum heat. So, common sense tells you if it's full pressure on minimum heat, that would be the coolest that the water would be. And at that setting, it is right at the temperature that we like for showers and and a little warmer we can dial it when we wash dishes but uh, we put it on the minimum setting maximum water pressure for our shower just come over here and turn it up a little bit um, you know for for the, the the kitchen sink water and you just have to get used to it yourself you'll know when it turns on because I'm going to show you here in a minute um, when the propane is coming through it's heating and the DC ignites it uh, there'll be some red lights that flash through here and it'll make a noise and it's heating it up and you get hot water instantly it's it's very nice so right now we're going to show you how the whole system works okay the one thing I wanted to talk about that I didn't forget is be between the barrel and when it goes into the pump I bought a strainer and put it in here this just cover would just come off screw off and you can clean the strainer out this just stops the second chance of any debris coming from here and damaging the motor um, Probably every three or four months you got to clean it out if you're using it constantly um, and just periodically clean it out is it. It just gives you that second mode of protection. Okay, so we're going to show our sink first and you can hear that the hot water on demand system turned on. Already this water is hot, getting hotter. It's about as hot as you want right now. It's very, very hot right now. That's how quick you get hot water. Okay, so for our shower water, what it is is the line, the kitchen is on the other side, so we just did a PEX hot water uh, line, Go, goes to the sink in series, goes to here, then it goes up, across the ceiling, and it's going to go to the vanity. We're just not done with the vanity yet, so we'll show that in a different video. I built the sub wall here so that this wall is insulated, 
This one is also insulated on the back side of it, but it won't bother the vines from freezing in the winter time. We won't get any frozen lines. And all we do is we just turn that on. We got great water pressure. Right now it's warm, warmer, hot. That's just hot. I mean, that's really hot right there. I don't know. That's probably a little too hot to take a shower because it's for the kitchen sink water. I'd probably turn it down a little bit. But that's that's how we get our shower water. Our hot water on demand system is called the EcoTemp 20. It replaced the model, the EcoTemp 10. Where we got it from was Walmart.com. So Walmart online is the only place that you're going to get. You can't go to Walmart and get it. You got to get it online. So the unit with the propane line and the DC pump all came together as a package. Uh, the whole package deal was $229, so I thought that was really economical. Um, I costed it both ways. If I would have bought it separately, you'd pay more money by buying each part separately. So you can get the package deal at walmart.com and it explains it to you on the website. And it's just a great, great unit. It's ideal for off-grid uh, for your off-grid home or cabin, and uh, we really like it. That was it. So thanks for watching the video. We really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to, to um, put them down in, the, in, in comments, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe. That would be awesome. It was really nice talking to you, and you take care.